Now I'm just gonna show you um, just a quick overview of the Shimatsu portal, sort of tips and tricks that might help you um, to work in the portal itself, and then also what you can use whenever you're kind of in a tight space and can't really get around, but you still have full functionality of the machine itself. So I'm sure you're aware this is your drive. It is a dead man switch. As soon as you let off, you can't move it. Okay. And that's for safety purposes. To release uh, the uh, tube, you have to push these buttons and you heard it release. Um, and you saw this little blue light come on, right? And so now you're able to freely move the tower itself, the arm. So if you run into a time where you cannot release this, you hit this button and it's locked, it's locked, you can't get it. There's actually a release in the back. Right here, on the back sort of of this uh, park position, there's a release here. And you push it down, and it releases up. Okay, so sometimes that does happen, um, even to, to myself using the portable. So this is a really easy way to say like, man, it's just not unlocking, and I can easily unlock it there. And sometimes they are a little um, hard to push down, but it will release the, the tower, the tube. Okay, so in order to move the machine itself too, you have to enable these buttons, okay? So we're gonna move it over just like before, right? Your collimator light button is this white button here. And if you hit it, you're going to see the light here, just as you see. Um, as you can see, the collimator dimensions are here. Easy to use, easy to manipulate. Um, the tape measure is located here on the side of the Shimatsu portable. Very easy and handy to use. Um, if you are in a tight space and we're um, at a point where like you know what i just need a couple more inches but i just can't get over there like there's people in the room something might be happening you actually have drives on the machine itself and there are these two top buttons i'm sure you've been wondering what they are if you actually hit them you can drive the portable forwards Incrementally, it's very small, very slow, so you're not going to take anybody out, you're not going to hit anything too hard, and then also you can drive it backwards. I'm just holding, I'm not even pushing it, it's doing it itself. Okay, so again, in those little incremental movements that you know what, I just need a little bit more, but you, know, you don't want to do this or you can't do this, um, you're able to do this here. Very easy, very simple, nice and smooth. Okay, now if I'm in a position where I'm actually across the room. And I still need to be able to um, get to my tube, so I'm going to reorient this real quick. So if I'm all the way extended out and I just can't get to that side of the room and I still need to move it forward, there is a button here. You're able to push this button here on the inside. You're able to extend and pull back. And you can move this way and this way. Very easy. Again, slow, incremental. You actually have to drive this. It's not an automatic drive that you saw with the other buttons, but it is very handy, again, if you can't get to the other side of the patient. So. With that, um, now we're gonna talk about the angulation. Um, there are two different angulation sets um, and meters that you'll find on your portable. Um, right here is one, and it's very helpful to know that you're at a uh, perpendicular beam here to a table or a desk or whatever you might be taking your x-rays on um, and if you need any sort of angle you easily can just push the collimators uh, leaves this way and then you see that you're you're changing your angle here okay there's also another set of angulation meters here and we reviewed it in our knee x-ray videos it's right here so this is actually the tube the whole tube angulation itself here okay all right, if you are taking an x-ray and you turn this and you notice that this is just falling, it's not really staying, okay? There are little screws right here that will actually tighten this up. So if you have that problem and it's not really staying in the position that you want it, it's a little tighter, okay? It tightens it up. Now just be cautious, this can easily fall out so if it's really, really loose, just be careful, it will fall out. And if you see this on the floor, just remember it's, that's, where, that's where it goes, okay? <laughs> and it's very important because your tube will just fall and you won't be able to take your x-rays effectively. Okay? What else? I feel like that's kind of the overview.
overview of the portal itself. Um, you guys, have, I'm assuming, are very familiar with the on-off buttons on here. Um, and then also your technique buttons here on the platform. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us.